What is going on everybody man? King Recon here today and I think I got some good lighting coming in once again and I'm super happy. It's pretty dark out there though so but regardless of that you know man when Gintama 2015 was airing it was it, it was absolutely amazing like from, from the very first time that they started airing the PVs and when I first heard day by day and the anime officially came back and I saw a bunch of people in the community that started watching it from this season and you know even even though like that you know some, some, some might not agree with that I was like yo like like a lot of people are checking out Gintama but as as it slowly went on a lot of people dropped it after like the very the first two episodes because I guess they just didn't feel like watching it anymore when other just stopped making videos so I was like ah oh. so I had, I had to wait, and I, but but as 2015, uh, the 2015 anime continued, it was awesome to see the growth and a bunch of Gintama YouTubers, and I was like, yo, finally, more people I can talk about this awesome sauce with, and, but, and don't worry, this video is going to be completely spoiler free, but man, dude, I'll never forget when I first heard Day by Day playing, I was like, Day by Day, but I was like, yo, this is awesome, and then one of my favorite endings, this is probably my top five favorite endings, every single time that I, I would finish an episode, because... I, I would finish an episode, and then it, it depended on what, whether my brother was coming home from school or not. But it, we would but we would just sing it together, just do 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 da da destiny. I love the destiny ending, and just seeing all of those arcs getting animated, you know, with gender men and Patriot Union, and it was just awesome. So I was I was I was enjoying it so much, and. When then we then we'll reach the, the opening fifteen portion of it. I love that opening, man. And I was I, I whenever I would, I would watch that, my memories of that, and basically all of the episodes that transpired up up until the Shogun assassination arc. From there on forth, I remember watching those at, at in school because I would always get this this long break between classes, and I would go right into this little cubicle in the, in the in the library, and I would just sit there and watch the episode, and and it, it was just it gives me memories of that every time I think of that part, especially like during the Shinigami arc. Oh man, I, and I could not wait to come home and talk about the episode and discuss it and review it. It was just good times, man, and and then like just overall throughout the entire uh, aspect of this, it was really awesome to see so many new people getting into the series, so many people, so many new people sharing their opinions and thoughts on the series. But it was it was whenever we were getting closer and closer to the Shogun assassination arc. Whenever they first gave the announcement in November that that the, that the Shogun assassination arc was getting animated, I saw so many people catching up to the series man and it was just such a huge and awesome thing because there was so many people that were catching up and, but the beautiful thing about it is that so many people were loving it they were loving it they were sharing their experiences their journeys all the all, all everything the shab every, all the shabam the entire shabam the whole nine yards people were sharing their awesome experiences with me who their favorite characters were it, and it, it almost always went like this it almost always went like this man and it was just freaking awesome sauce. Like, like some people would would would, would come in there and and they would say, "Oh, the, you know, I'm really enjoying it so far, and I think I would like it this much." And then when they would get up to Benny's arc, they'd be like, "Yo!" Then meets up, <laughs> then she gets to meet Crisis, and it'll be a mixture of both. And then they got to Yoshiwara, and after I'd I'd say a good about eighty five percent of the people that 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 were, that were catching up at that point in time, once they reached Yoshiwara, they caught up in about a week, in about a week or two. Because after Yoshiwara, they were just straight up going, going in, and and even though I, it, because Sirachi his his writing and his his comedy really did it really does you know it, it gets better with time, so yeah it, it, maybe, maybe that's what it was, but it was just I was just so happy that was it was amazing like it, like the content we were getting was amazing. I'll never forget when Oil Rain aired. And I was just so happy, and I found out that so many people also loved that chapter. I was like, yes, you know, with Oil Rain airing and the the Kagura uh, feigned illness arc was airing. Ah, that I love that arc. I know it was just such an awesome time because we got to we got to have a, new, a, a, a just a completely new influx of Gintama fans and and people you know from 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 I guess. It, you know, w w like the old and the new combining together, and we created this awesome and ultimate community of people who just love this series. And it was just so awesome to talk about every single week because I had both the anime and the manga, and it was just every single week I could not wait to watch the newest anime episode, and it was just it was a blast. And then when Glorious Days came out, bro, I I used to watch that every day, every day. Sometimes I still do. I still do watch it every day. And in I don't stop the glorious days. Oh my gosh, bro. 
whenever you whenever you hear the sword hit ding and you're like yeah and then man like episode 297 dropped and the preview for, for the Shogun Assassination arc came out, and I, I remember doing live reaction to that because you know that's my favorite arc of all time, animated, you know. But I did not expect them. I mean, I expected them to give to give me awesome sauce, but I didn't give them, I didn't expect them to give me that. Yo, when I saw Gito took yeah, when I saw Takasu, bro, I was going crazy. I was going crazy. And then while the initial, I'm, I'm gonna try to calm down because I'm trying to keep this boiled free. <laughs> but and then while like the initial Shogun assassination arc was airing, that that and and while well, FS was airing, I think from from episode, I would dare say the condo episode from 293 all the way up until the ending from to to to, to the uh, to 316 was 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 probably the best experience and my highest peak. As 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 a tard for anything, anything. You know what it is to have the manga be going in, and at the same time the anime animating my favorite stuff. Wow! And this this was the combo. This was the combo. I would get on Twitter and I would see a whole bunch of people catching up to the series. I would go on YouTube, a whole bunch of people catching up to the series. So I'm getting like this huge vibe of positivity. Then when I go on Facebook, go and get our Lord and Savior. We would discuss and talk about the newest episode and the newest chapter, just having a blast, talking about the awesome sauce, and it was just it was just overall so much positivity getting my way i just couldn't help but get after my gintama my favorite arc was about to air and then once episode 300 dropped it just it full sailed right off there and then like from from the 301 oh man 301 with that legendary battle you know what i'm talking about dude i rewatched that scene like 60 times and when i when i when i got on twitter and i saw a whole bunch of people i never even knew i never even knew liked gintama posting that fight scene everywhere i was like yo man gintama's getting big and i just felt so happy i would get on here on youtube to, to, and, and uh, talk to you guys in the comment section it was just it was such an awesome time man and I was like, ah. like the Gintama anime was taking over everything. The Gintama anime was higher than everything else on Anime News Network. It was it was ranking in number one almost every week during that time. It was God. It was it was just it was amazing. I just I love that so many people were loving Gintama. It was it was just such an amazing time to be a fan and by the gods. And the thing is, is during episodes three hundred and two to three hundred and three, uh, like like it, it kind of. I'm not gonna say that the, all, the positivity stopped because there was a lot of positivity, but th th then that's whenever like the, the criticism for, for for the manga was better than the anime started coming in because 303 a lot of people didn't like that as much as as, as the manga version, which which is understandable, which is understandable because there, there there was quite a couple uh, chapters in there that I that I liked more in the manga even myself, but I still thought they did a really good job of leaving off in the cliffhanger there before that 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 um that the week long hiatus before we got freaking 304, <sighs> guys. When I tell you that I have never been more proud to be a Gintama fan than when episode 304 and 305 aired. When 30, I think 304, because I know I know a lot of, because 305 is my personal favorite, but I think 30, 304 is my most rewatched because 304, I mean, three, well, for one thing, 305 is really hard to watch. With 305, I wanna, every time I watch it, I, I tear up. I, no, it's no joke, no joke. And, th and just thinking about it makes me tear up. But 304, it's just the hype. The hype, bro. You're sitting there. You're like, yeah. It's the entire episode. From beginning to end is straight up godlike. 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 And the thing is, is up until then, Sunrise was going in, but we we had seen better from them. But when 304 hit, that that and 305 were the best. The best that, that Sunrise has ever produced when it comes to Gintama. I was... I was fly. I, I thought we were gonna get. I, I knew we were gonna get greatness. But three oh four, where I, I saw that, and I, I remember getting on Facebook, and I was like, "Dude!" I mean, all of us were, were just fan guys. We were like, "This is what we wanted. This is greatness." And the way they played that OST and that fighting scene, they were like, ah, it was greatness. And then whenever I got on here, I did I did the anime among comparison, and I saw that so many of you out there were like, "Yo, this was a perfect ten out of adaptation." I was like, "I know, I know it is," and it was just so much positivity. And I got on Twitter, and I used to see all these gifs, and and I was like, "Ah, oh, like it was so amazing." And then three oh five hit, and the the legendary shocker it it, it, it everyone. The greatness of 519 and 520 and everyone some a lot of people said that, that that was one of the greatest episodes they've ever seen period and, and i stated I, I still stand by it that is the greatest episode i've ever watched as long as the greatest chapters i've ever read so it's too beautiful it's too beautiful they could not have done that any better they really could not and it was it was godlike and i was like good by the gods sunrise is really doing it and then they just continued on the rise of awesome then when the, the then when the arc ended 
And oh man, I remember just sitting there watching so many videos, people just talking about the arc and talking about how they felt about it. And it was just such it was such an awesome amazing time to be a fan. Cause once again, it was the manga. The manga was giving me greatness, but the anime was also giving me greatness as well. And I was like, yeah, it was just absolutely awesome sauce, man. Just the it, everything, everything from the beginning of the 2015 anime up until the 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 the, the, the finale of uh, for, for 316, even though I, I wasn't here on YouTube, whenever I watched, I watched that in, in raw from 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 a TV Tokyo live stream on, on my computer. When 316, bro, when I tell you that I was bawling, son, I, and then 314 was godlike as well, dude. And, and, and it made me so happy because when, when that chapter came out, a lot of people were against it. But when it came out in the anime, yo, a lot of you were, were all for it. And I was like, yo, it's the positivity that comes with the anime, man. And guys, that, that Gintama anime experience, something that, that no one could take away from me, man. It was just so much fun. It's, it was the combination of people catching up, people watching it weekly, me wanting to hear their thoughts. Like, I wanted to I wanted to hear everyone's thoughts when it comes to my, my, my stuff, 304 and 305, you know, that greatness. So those two weeks specifically, I watched everyone's videos, I read, I read, I paid attention to every comment, everything, every little thing that you guys said, because that, that's the thing that I wanted to see all of your reactions to, all of your reactions, especially if you were anime only so and I want I could not wait to see your reaction to those things and it was it was just beautiful such a great time and once again with everybody catching up and with all the, with, with all the new influx of Gintama YouTubers just spreading the love about the series it was an amazing time to be a fan man and and it was it was it was awesome sauce so I'm telling you it, the the journey of the Gintama anime was the same way of my journey with the series like we started off and it was it was just a couple of us in the beginning of the 2015 anime you know waiting for the series to come back and then when it actually came back there was still only a couple of us then as it grew and as it grew we as a community kept the growing and growing and growing and then when the Shogun assassination arcade and the fair watch is gonna be all of us were it was just we were on a we were on a Gintama high and no one could stop us man no one could stop us and that's why I can't wait for the anime to return because we're gonna feel unstoppable once more and even though the manga right now is so freaking awesome it's so amazing it was the combination of having both amazing manga content and amazing anime content that made that so special and I can't wait for it to return man it was just it was so amazing witnessing Gintama weekly and coming on here and just talking to all of you it was, it was amazing dude it was amazing I I can't wait for the anime to come back and it, uh it was just the Kazama anime is so amazing, man. Just it, how how it handles the comedy episodes and the series. Was, ah, it's, it's just I'll never I'll never forget experience. Like I'll never, I'll never forget witnessing you guys catching up. A lot of you guys catching up to the series, and when you caught up, you you were watching it weekly. And you dude, dude, I'm telling you, man. The, 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 ah, man, when three when three oh four dropped, I I saw so many jobs drop. They were like, oh, so this is why you love it. I'm like, I know, I know, we are the. Ah, so you guys have been awesome today. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there, man, about about the 2015 anime. The dude, uh, one more thing, because I I, I I gotta address uh, the FS arc right quick. Because I'm, I'm I'm not trying to say any spoilers, man. But by the gods, was the FS arc done so well in the anime episodes 308, 312, 314, 315, 316, 316? I had me crying more more than the manga did. It real, real talk. It, it, they did a phenomenal job, man, with the FS arc, and I really wish I could have been here on YouTube for the whole thing. The last uh, video I recorded was was for a 3:14, then I had to leave. But I made the anime manga comparison, and it, yo, those those were so much fun to make the anime manga comparison videos. And I think my favorite one still was 305, 305, 519, because that, that, that's my pride and joy. I literally went and broke down every single panel that day. I took that entire day off from everything and just focused on which one I liked more. At the end of the day, I came up with a conclusion. I came up with that in that video, but I, I literally deconstructed every single little panel in that thing, and it was... It was such an awesome video to make, but regardless of that, the and the FS arc, man, it was that that was such an amazing time for me because that was the that that, that was the arc that I first started um, talking about here weekly was the Farewell to Scooby arc. So being able to to go through it again in the anime and being with a lot of you who were anime only, a lot of you said screw it after Shogun Assassination, you went right into the manga, and and it was just so awesome to see all, how all of you felt about FS and how all of you felt about the twist in FS and, and just overall. With the Gintama experience with all of you has been incredible, and I can't wait for the anime to come back, man. It can't wait for the anime. Twenty, I think the 2015 season. If I had to compare all of them, I, I really do think it'd probably be my favorite. I'd have to think. I'd have to really think about it. But how I'm feeling right now, just remembering it, 
I think the Gintama anime, uh, the 2015 portion of it might, might be my favorite. And it, it comes, just comes from a combination of a bunch of different things. The content that was presented, the, the, the memories of being with all of you here on YouTube, and for being the first uh, season that I was actually able to come on here and talk about weekly, and, and just the overall community, how it spiked, and we saw the amazing love for the series just keep growing and growing and growing. It's something that... That it, it, the 2015 anime is really, really special to me. It really is, and, and it carries a lot of memories and carries a lot of awesome sauce. And I, I just, I loved it so much. I loved it so much, and I, I can't wait for it to come back. I really can't. And God, a 316 finale. I was just, I was so sad for multiple reasons. I was like, man, the anime is over. And then, of course, with the content in the episode, I was like, girl, why, why does it have to happen to me now? Shout out to Does. Shout out to Does for being awesome Katama fans. But man, what a what a journey. What a freaking awesome sauce of a of a journey it was, man. And for everyone who, who who was a part of it, you guys are freaking awesome. And for anyone who's still thinking about catching up to the series, you've gotten this far in the video, you haven't watched the series, what are you doing? Get on that Gintama awesome sauce, man. The GOAT, literally. The GOAT. It's amazing and it's just it, it was it was such an amazing time. There was just so many different factors to make this a great time. But please share me share, share with me your experiences of going through the 2015 anime. How did you like it? I mean, if I had to give it a grade, the 2015 anime for me gets an awesome sauce. I mean, like, come on, come on. It was it was it was godlike. It was godlike. 2015 anime going through that entire thing weekly. It was it was phenomenal, man. Just uh, get, let me know your experiences or with, with, with or your experience, your journey with a, with a twenty fifteen version of Gintama. You know what, what was your favorite arcs in it? Um, your your favorite portions of it? You know, what, 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 just get, share with me your, your experiences or your thoughts on the twenty fifteen anime, because it was it was truly something awesome, man. It truly was, and. I just can't wait for the anime to come back. But you guys have been awesome today. Thank you so much for watching. Go Tama for the win. This is a video I've been trying, I've been wanting to make for a while, but today was the day. Today I was feeling it. Today I was like, I gotta talk about that Gintama awesome sauce. And and I was feeling the anime, yo, because I was listening to the openings. So I was like, it, it's time. I gotta talk about it. I gotta talk about it. So you guys have been awesome today. Thank you very much. And man, those openings. And it's like, no, 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 I love that opening so much, man. Achi muite, achi muite, di na 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 si te di ke te. Ah, God, man. Have an awesome day, man. Freaking go top of it.